And it's Shell's birthday. Shell's my wonderful wife, and she is the mastermind behind the camera. I know it's cliche that behind every successful man stands a woman, but in this case, it's true. Well, at least the woman part. Shell makes this video series better. She's really good with cameras. She sets the frame perfectly. The light is awesome. And I bet you if you look back through the archives, you could probably tell which videos Shell was instrumental to and which ones she was not. But also, she helps keep my thoughts in order. As I'm talking, she's standing there behind the camera going, well, wait, no, you need to explain that, John A., you're not making any sense. So you can imagine what a conversation with me in daily life is like. Not only that, she helps set up some of the funny parts, makes it a video blog that I think is worth watching. So if the quality's a little bit sketchy, totally not her fault this time because she doesn't know about this at all so it's her birthday coming right up and i wanted to make this one all about her see i kind of screwed up on this january one here i came out guns a-blazing talking about this one very special girl in my life so i kind of have to follow it up again talk about this other very special girl in my life so how do you follow that well with this i guess but Shell deserves so much that I'm afraid I'll never be able to give her exactly what she deserves. But it's going to be fun trying. Now, one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot lately is the fact that there's a lot of stories about falling in love. But there's not a lot of stories about standing in love. And I think those stories are important. I'd like to see more of those kinds of stories. More, more stories where it's about two people and how the relationship dynamic changes and how they change and how they can still maintain this pattern of a relationship because we're not the same people that we were 13 years ago when we met each other and that's a good thing but there needs to be more of a map for this territory and especially in fiction so if you guys know of any let me know down in the doobly-doo there is some non-fiction by this guy john gottman and he talks about relationships and how to maintain relationships and how to maintain trust in relationships. I liked his work so much I threw it in a mix. If you're in a long-term relationship, even if you're not, his work is worth checking out simply because it describes the important things in a relationship and the important things when you're fighting in a relationship. This man literally saved my marriage. Doesn't even know it. His whole thing is about sliding door moments. The idea is very simple. When your significant other has something to share with you, or if they're going through a tough time, there are fundamentally two different ways you can react. You can stay inside of your own head and kind of go, oh, well, yeah, that's nice, sweetie, whatever. Or you can show genuine interest. There's lots of things that Shell's not really that interested in that I'm just like, oh my God, this is so awesome. But she has enough interest in me as a person that she shows it. And I try to do the same for her. And that's what a sliding door moment is. It's where you respect them enough so that when they try to include you in their life and in their head, you immediately turn towards them and listen. It's almost that simple. Tips for single guys from Justine. When you are out on a date, put your fucking phone away. Just like every TV show has got that one episode where all the characters sing, my video blog is going to have a time where I talk about this beautiful woman and how she's done so much for me and has been such an incredible force on my life. It's important the world knows that she is so much of who I am and who I have become. She has helped me through so many things that have gone on with me and inside of me that just astounding. So I love you, baby. So to Shell, my wife, the videographer, the one behind the camera, this one's for you. Happy birthday. I love you.